Welcome to Begin IT Career Online Trainings. Today, let us see the process for doing QTP or UFT certification. HP QTP is Quick Test Professional. The recent name is Unified Functional Tester. To complete this certification, you have to write HP 0M47. The exam name is HP Functional Testing 11.x Software. What is the minimum qualification to complete this exam? You should have at least 3 months of experience with the tool before doing this certification. Coming to the exam details, the total number of questions you have is 69 and the format of questions are multiple choice, drag and drop, and point and click. The total exam time is 1 out 5 minutes and passing score is bit high 75%. Coming to the syllabus, you have to cover almost 6 to 7 modules before preparing giving this exam. So coming to the syllabus, 10% of questions comes from automated test planning 19% from basic test creation and how QTP works with objects and 24% of questions comes from basic test verification and enhancement and 11% from modular automated test builds and 7% from QTP and ALM integration so which includes QC as well and 10% from automated test troubleshooting, 4% from advanced QTP scripting which has import and exporting excel sheets and 7% from expert view and 8% from web applications. It is bit big syllabus but make sure that you cover all the topics before you give this exam. So coming to the next reference materials. So for the preparation side, if you want to prepare for this exam, so before actually going to the dams, it is always good practice to go through the guide and follow the reference materials. That means they give the chapter numbers as well as the topics. Make sure you complete all the chapters and the topics which they have given in the syllabus for this exam. So all these are clear cut information of reference materials, chapter 1 and 8, 4, what is the page numbers? HP has given everything in a clear cut way what pages to go through for this in the user guide for this exam. So make sure you complete everything before giving the exam. So coming to the price, the price of this exam is 100 USD. So coming to the registration process where you have to go and actually register for the exam. So enrollment process for all HP exa exams, it follows the same approach for the registration. They have given this exam certification process to them, peers and VUE center. So before you give the, you register for the exam, you have to create a profile in this URL, i7 hit peers and VUE you, in this particular website. First you have to fill in your details, activate your profile. The moment you fill in the details, an email will be sent to you please click that to activate and then you have to choose your unique user id and password so once you have the unique user and user id and password for the peers and site keep it ready with you and for scheduling the exam you have to log in with your unique user id and password and then you have to go inside that candidate login landing page and based on the exam you, you have to select your exam and then you have to do the payment here so when you are uh, doing the payment, it will ask you to select the Prometric centers which are near to your location. You can select the location and you can get the payment receipt. Everything will be set in this scheduling the exam. So before scheduling the exam, you probably need a learner ID. What is this learner ID? HP learner ID is something which is specific to your profile, unique identifier which is given to your profile. So this actually needs, this, uh, this is actually required for you to complete the certification. So before, if you want to register for the exam, you need a HP learner ID. 
so how do you actually create this learner id so to create this learner id you have to go to this website called www.myexpert1.com slash forms slash customer registration dot aspx so you have to go this part to this particular uh, website fill in your details so once this form is filled and sent by you if you click submit it will take three to five business days to receive that learner id to your email once you receive that learner id so you are ready and you can go with the registration process so if you have the learner id with you they'll give access to all the hp video tutorials like hp products they have a basic video tutorials if you have the hp learner id with you you can get the complete access learning center access with that learner id if you still have more queries on this certification process you can contact us dignity career online trainings these are our numbers and you can drop us an email at contact at the free beginity career.com or you can visit our website www.beginitycareer.com and send us your inquiry we also help you to give the training as well as we will assist you in completing your certification thank you